I'm Alex Wolf at Electronica 2012, and I'm here with Peter Reindow from Alexis, and we have an automotive twofer today. Yes. We have MEM sensors, and we have LED drivers. <music> Tell us about the MEM sensor that you've launched here, where it's, where it's aimed at. Uh, we've just launched the MLX 90809, which is a differential MEMS uh, fully integrated pressure sensor, and it's targeted at automotive applications. One of the first applications we're in is uh, brake vacuum pressure uh, sensing for brake booster systems, uh, uh, so power assist braking. Right. And in this particular case, it's used in a stop and go system, so the new cars where when you pull up to a stop sign, the engine shuts down to save uh, on emissions and fuel. Well, you still need to know if there's vacuum pressure for the right. uh, power brake system to work. So this is a device where you would use it in that application. What's the differentiation? Is it cheaper, smaller? In this particular case, Malexis has been producing it fully integrated pressure sensors for more than 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've been only supplying them in a uh, die form to our automotive tier customers. Right. And now we've actually uh, launched it in a packaged form. But we've also, in this iteration, uh, using an 8-inch uh, wafer fab process mm -hmm. and also a 0.35 micron uh, fabrication geometry. So it's allowed us to shrink the integrated portion, the programmable portions, to a much smaller size and make it more cost effective. You also have a, a LIN RGB driver, which is a, LIN, a subsystem of CAM for indoor, in-cabin LED lighting. Well, the nice part about uh, the LIN RGB is it does work on the LIN bus, and it allows you to, to uh, put deploy a lot of LEDs inside of a car in different places without increasing too much the wiring. Let me ask you now, uh, today's, uh, today's cars are 12 volt. We think we may be going to 40 volts soon. Tell us how what, what that transition might, uh, might do. Well, the, the 40 volt systems, the 40 or 48 volts, or depending on what the standard becomes, uh, is really targeted for driving power loads, a lot of the okay. high power loads, so it's much more efficient. Uh, but then on all the subsystems, they're still going to retain a low voltage. Maybe they'll be 5 volt instead of 12. Uh, and, and allowed to work at those levels. This LIN RGB device, uh, one of the things that's most unique for us is it's a single chip solution in the package. So it's very, very cost effective and it can be packaged in a very small package size. Tell our engineering audience where they can go to learn more about this stuff. Uh, they can certainly go to our website, www.malexis.com, and they can find information there on this product, on the pressure sensor product, and on a number of other automotive uh, semiconductors. <laughs>